Hey guys, welcome back to The Well-Rounded Dude. My name is Chris, and today we have Foxy Dude at Sarah. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. If you guys are new here, we cover a whole bunch of topics on this channel, and today we are gonna cover one of my favorite topics, fragrance. It is his favorite topic. <laughs> So today we're gonna to talk about Scentbird. It's one of my favorite companies. It's a subscription service that allows you to get a 30 day supply of a fragrance and you get to try it. I told Sarah about it and uh, yeah, I thought it was awesome because well, I get to try it. Um, I can actually upgrade my subscription and I can try a couple different ones if I'd like and I get to choose which ones um, and what I found really good, because I'm a fragrance rookie, unlike Chris, who's like a fragrance guru, <laughs> um, it actually has quizzes that I can go on and I can choose like what the occasion is for, if I'm looking for something floral or spicy. Um, it asks me questions about my personality. So um, it really, you know, helped guide me on a path to decide which one I wanted to try first. Yeah, what's great about Scentbird is it eliminates you having to buy a, a whole bottle in order to try out something. A whole bottle that might smell <laughs> Yeah, I mean Shopping for fragrance is pretty hard. Most people just like go to a perfume counter at a store and they smell it and they think Oh, it smells good and they buy it and they take it home and then come to find out It really isn't what they want. Yeah, it's, or it doesn't smell right on you because right, that's one it, thing I've learned through you is like the perfumes, they smell different on everybody, exactly. on each individual person, so. Exactly, so it enables you to just spend a, a small amount of money and try it out. Yeah, and you get an actual, like, decent amount in this. I mean, you get a 30-day supply. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not like they're giving you, like, some little itsy-bitsy sample, so. Correct, itsy-bitsy sample, like this. Yes. It's um, bitsy. Yeah. Uh, this is my sample of Creed Aventus. They charged me $12 plus shipping for this. I, I really wanted to try it, so. <laughs> $12 plus shipping? Yeah. A, a you got to be kidding me. A full-size bottle is like 400 so. Yeah, with this company, it was, what, 10 bucks, And you get this ginormous thing. Yeah. I mean, as you guys can see here, that's a lot. Now, I've been a, a subscriber to Scentbird for at least a year and a half. I've gotten dozens of these, and there is no end in sight. I, I have not run out of any of them that I've gotten. So well, I it's, think, didn't you say they, they work it out up to like four spritz per day? Yeah, that's how they, they, they figure that out. Four squirts per day, it's supposed to last you 30 days, but you know. I, I've, all of my Scentbird trials, I've, I've, I still have some in there. And you get this cool little holder. Yeah. That you can pick out the color, so you can pick one out to coordinate your outfits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, and your sample fits right in there, and then you close it, so then it's compact. I don't have to worry about it spilling anywhere, so, um, it's, it's really super convenient. It's, it's a nice sample rather than something small like this, which exactly. the tops break off, or I mean, I've had disasters with these. Yeah, you spray it and it leaks all over your hand. I've had that issue too. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong getting like this much for like 15 bucks. And you're not like tied into a membership either. You can skip a month and I mean, like. That's what I like because, you know, I some months I'm like strapped for cash and so I can skip that month. The cool things about Scentbird is they have a ton of designer uh, companies that you can get. You can try their fragrances such as Dior, Versace, Gucci, hmm. very cool. And uh, they recently just started offering Creed Aventus. Now, there is a premium charge for it, so it's an extra 15 bucks, but you're getting a... That would be well worth it though, 
to get a sample size this big. Yeah, so for 30 bucks, you're getting a sample of Creed Aventus this size compared to a $400 bottle. That's, that's well worth it if you ask me. Be sure to check out the app or go to scentbird.com and check it out and you guys will be able to find your perfect fragrance. So let's talk about the fragrances we picked for this month. I went with Dunhill Icon Elite. Hopefully you guys can see that. What did you pick? I got, what's nice to give you these nice little cards that tell you all about your scent. And I chose Gardenia by Robert Piguet. Mm -hmm. I probably butchered the name, but you guys can read it. <laughs> it also shows you a picture of what the full-size bottle would look like. Which is cool. So you get to see that. On the back, it tells you the different uh, notes of, you know, the fragrance and uh, a nice little description. For example, mine um, commands the wearer to flaunt her femininity with a flirty, boyish charm. Hmm. So, yeah, that's, I might got a boyish charm. <laughs> that's, that, that sounds a little weird, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll stick with it. What are the notes in it? <laughs> the notes are, oh God, I can't pronounce these either. Fleur de Lis, Ylang Ylang, Madagascar Vanilla, Black Leather. Mm. I like and Kashmirian? Kashmir? Kashmirian? Kash, what the hell is Kashmirian? I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to say Kashmir. Yeah, that's what my guess is. It's I a think typo. It, <laughs> yes, it's probably not a typo. I just am stupid and don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> what about yours? Uh, Dunhill Icon Elite has Sicilian. The grade? Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one that couldn't read their card. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, it's it's not just you. Some of the, the notes in some of these are, are really hard. But sandalwood, blue sage, juniper, and ebony wood. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So what's also very cool, guys, is Scentbird has an app. You can go into the app, and it'll tell you, like, what the occasion of this fragrance is for. This one happens to be, I believe, a like a date fragrance. Nice. Yeah, um, and it's also, it'll tell you the season. They say this is for a fall. I don't know what mine is. Okay. I guess I should download the app and find out. You should. I, I think I will. Okay. Definitely. Mm -hmm. What does yours smell like? Have, oh. you smell, have you tried it yet? I haven't tried it yet. <gasps> I figured we could do that on camera. <laughs> Spritz. I like that. Oh, it smells like wood. <laughs> yeah. I'm just joking. It actually smells really good. It, it does, does have like a, a, a woodsy aroma to it. And it would be good for date night. I think so too, yeah. This is one if you want to get close, I think it projects. We're gonna give it a, a couple minutes and then we'll come back to them and... Here, I gotta try mine. But definitely. Okay, what I'm gonna do is spritz, spritz. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that smells really pretty. It smells like a gardenia. Hence the name. <laughs> that does smell really good. Yeah, it's really light. It's floral. Um, Very, yeah. It has scents of Fleur de Lis, Ylang Ylang, Madagascar Vanilla. Oh, I smell the black leather and cashmere. <laughs> but no, it, um, I really like that a lot. I do too. And that was a really good spritz that you get. You get four spritz yeah. each day. They say yeah, it's good. Yeah, four that's spritzes a, each day. a good volume. So. Yeah. Cool, I'm so glad you told me about this. Yeah, you'll be able to get a whole Try bunch of fragrances. Try a whole bunch of different stuff. Yeah, yeah, very cool. And that does smell really good. I like it a lot. Well, you're gonna be smelling it for the next 30 days. Mm -hmm. We've got this one, which is Confession of a Rebel about last night. <laughs> I start my days like that sometimes <laughs> with about last night. <laughs> so uh, uh, Confessions of a Rebel, what's cool is 
While they intend their fragrances to be for either gender, like this one happens to be for males, they say that females like it too. So I figured we both could try this one. And Let's see how it do goes. it. All right. So, ladies first. All right. Um, let me spritz on my other wrist. Okay. Wait. Let me let me let it air out for a minute. Okay. Oh. I don't want to spray your face. Oh. <laughs> A little citrusy-ish. It is. I could definitely like, yeah, it could definitely be a chick female, a uh, chick one too. A perfume. A chick, <laughs> a chick perfume. So it's a unisex <laughs> scent. <laughs> that would be the the word I was looking for. Yeah, it smells yeah very citrusy, almost like um, lime. I'm getting like a hint of lime. That's what does our card say? Ooh, you're good. Am I? Yeah. Well, that's a picture of a lime. That says bergamot. Is bergamot a lime? No, but it's it's a citrus and it's ah. similar to red grapefruit. Okay. Pink pepper. Ooh. I never even knew that existed. Vetiver. Oh, that's good for sleep. Mm -hmm. White cedar. Interesting. Some of my favorite notes, as you guys it can see. It smells really good. You guys want to see this card? Hopefully that shows up. <laughs> If not, take our word for it. <laughs> and that's what the bottle would look like. Okay. And just in case I didn't do it with Dunhill Icon Elite. Card there. The bottle. And the bottle. We've given it a few minutes now so the fragrance can marinate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Always make sure to hit your pulse points. That's what we did when we tried these on. And now that our body chemistry has mixed with it, we're going to see if we still like it. Because the scent will change once it mixes with your body chemistry. Ladies first, what would you like? Would you like to? Well, I'll try my gardenia, however I pronounce that. It still smells wonderful. Um, yeah, it's definitely a really good fragrance um, that I think I would wear like basically any time of the year because okay. it's floral, but then it's it's got like a little like musky smell. I think the the black leather and cashmere. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that one's definitely a keeper for okay. sure. Okay. How's yours? I still really like mine. Um, the Dunhill Icon Elite. I think it. I can really smell the the sandalwood in it. Um, it's very woodsy. I, I yeah. like it too. Yeah, it's very cool. Like you can definitely tell it's it's masculine, and they say fall, but I think you can you can pull this off any time. I maybe not summer, like on a really really hot summer day, you may not want to wear this, but any evening I think it would be really good. Yeah, on a cooler summer day, I think it would be fine too. Yeah, but it's just not like a ninety degree humid day, but. I still really like it. What do you think? Yeah, I like that one a lot. It smells really good. Very cool. Can yeah. smell yours? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, I like that a lot. Do That's... you smell the boyish charm? I do. Well, <laughs> <laughs> very feminine, but it's it's very nice. Yeah. It's, it's light. It is. It's light, but it's got, it's like not super light. It's not overpowering. It's very, yeah. very good. I like it a lot. I'm happy with it. I'm glad. The the Scentbird uh, quiz did a really good job because it picked it out for me. So next up we have the fragrance that we are both wearing, which is Confessions of a Rebel about last night. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, this one, after I, I like, it sat on me a little while. Um, I don't smell the citrus quite so much, but I smell like the pepper. The pepper like really stands out to me, which I mean, it's not terrible, but I don't think it would be something I would buy a bottle of. Um, okay. Not for me. But what's nice with Scentbird, I could just try, try it. it. Try it. Try it. It's better to spend $15 and realize that it's not what you like as compared to spending $110 and realizing it's something you, you don't like. And, you know, I think I might, like, try it, like, on different 
days, you know, I don't know, it always depends what mood you're in. It goes to show, you know, let's say you do get your scent bird and you don't like it, give it to your mom, give it to your brother, give it to somebody else, because they might like it. Exactly. <laughs> What won't work on you could work on somebody else, and you could give them your new favorite Yeah, favorites. and it's not like giving them an itty-bitty sample thing. <laughs> yeah. You could actually wrap this in a box and, like, think that the, you legitimately bought it for them. So Exactly. I'm such a cheapskate. <laughs> Don't tell my brother. <laughs> now, on me, um, I'm still smelling a lot of the bergamot. Um, I still smell that very strongly, and the pink pepper. Yeah, I, yeah, that's so weird. Yeah. Hmm, um, interesting. You know, we've given it about five minutes, and we're eh, more like ten, I would say. Yeah, it's yeah. been at least ten. Yeah, ten minutes to give it that proper dry down. But yeah, I can still smell the pepper and the, the bergamot the most. I don't, I'm not getting much of the vetiver or the white cedar. Um, but again, this was a fragrance that they intended for males, but said that females like them too. So it's, it's not surprising that you didn't. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it could definitely fun. go either way. It's one of one of those, like, either way. Yeah. Now I thought this would be a good time to let you guys know like, how I shop for fragrances. And I think that, you know, would be helpful. Yeah. And give some tint, tint, tips. <laughs> what are your tips? <laughs> My tips. Well, what I recommend is, uh, if you're going shopping for fragrances, let that be the first thing you do. In, if you're going shopping for the day, stop at the perfume counter or the men's fragrance counter first. This will, this will work for you too. Mm -hmm. um, and try it on and then walk away. Oh, because then I could, oh, that's, that's genius. Yeah, you can, and always hit your pulse points, guys. You want Because then you can smell it while you're going about your business and see how it smells like exactly. later on. Because what you first spray out of the bottle on you isn't necessarily what it's going to smell like long term. Exactly. You guys got to give it a little bit of time. And that's mm -hmm. why, you know, fragrance shopping is time consuming. Because <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> you really have to give it a few minutes or, you know. It's either time consuming or you waste a lot of money on stuff that you end up really not liking. Yeah. So that's why companies like Scentbird are awesome. Are awesome. Yeah. Always make sure to hit your pulse point. So again, too, like when I go shopping for fragrances or I know I'm going to try some, I don't wear a wristwatch. It's one of the only times I don't is because I want to make sure to hit my wrist. It's a pulse point. Your neck is your pulse point, too. You don't necessarily need to try it. It's there. hard to smell but, your own neck. Yeah. But <laughs> I definitely leave both wrists free to try at least two fragrances yeah. that I've really wanted to. I think those are really good hints. It could always be a conversation starter, too, guys. If you, you know, have a new fragrance and want yeah. to ask a lady, get a female opinion, it's a great icebreaker. Excuse or a guy's me. opinion, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Where you go. Yeah. yeah. We don't Man. judge here. Um, you know, <laughs> seriously, we don't judge here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you could just like walk up and be like, excuse me, miss, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like my gray poupon? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, that just really reminded me of that commercial. Guys, that's going to do it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to check out Scentbird. Guys, you can't go wrong, especially if you're looking to build a fragrance collection and you want to try out a fragrance that you haven't gotten before. And if you're clueless and have no idea what you're doing, there's those awesome quizzes. <laughs> and there's an app. Be sure to check out the app. Uh, did you have fun today? I did. I did. It was really a cool learning experience, and I can't wait to pick out my fragrance for next month. <laughs> Very cool. And I always ask you, since I have you here, uh, any tips for the guys? Oh, tips for the guys. Um, try to have your own vehicle, a driver's license, and make sure you're a decent driver. That's my tip for the day today. Be a good driver, guys. Please, drop a like. We could use it. Drop a like on this video. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what are some of your fav favorite fragrances, male or female. Really? I, I, yeah. That'd be cool. Um, and be sure to check us out on social media. Like, subscribe, comment, follow, share. Do all the, the normal YouTube things and please help us fight the YouTube algorithm. All right, guys. Also, be sure to check out thewellroundeddude.com. Use Dude15 and get 15% off your total purchase on our merch page. And we will catch you in the next one. Once again, thank you for being here. Thank I you. It. I had a great time as always. Awesome. We'll see you later, guys.